Yuanying Jinjuan failed to cross the tribulation and returned to his student days. In 2013, the mobile internet has just risen, and under the torrent of the rolling era, a person who cultivates immortals has a daily life. Daily, students, love, internet, modern cultivation, money, IQ online, keywords of the novel. Rebirth Daily Cultivation Without Pop-Ups, Rebirth Daily Cultivation TXT Complete Collection Download, Rebirth Daily Cultivation Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 When Returning to Youth You Are Listening at Novel Full.Audio Chapter 1 When Returning to Youth In the Summer of 2013, On the Intercity Bus From Guyon County To Yuzhou City In Huizhou Province In the hot summer and afternoon, The passengers on the train are all drowsy. In the back seat, a pale-skinned boy suddenly opened his eyes, as if he had just woken up from sleep. His face was first confused, and then he looked around. The armrests, seats, windows, and curtains are all brand new. Isn't this the 311 intercity bus that I took to Yujo City for my first year of high school in the summer after the high school entrance exam in 2013? I remember very clearly that the 311 intercity bus was just opened this year, with a 40-kilometer journey and a ticket price of 10 yuan. At that time, I took a car with my sister in laws sister to Yuzhou City. Jian Ming tilted her head, his shoulders a bit heavy. A girl was leaning against his shoulder, her hair half covering her face, her eyes closed, sleeping soundly. Everything is right now. But didn't I fail to cross the tribulation and be destroyed by the thunder tribulation? Why am I here? Am I reborn? Jiang Ming's pupils dilated, and after hundreds of years of cultivation, he had already developed an ancient and calm heart. However, at this moment, his heart was full of hope. I'm back, I didn't fall into the calamity, but was reborn back in my youth. Jiang Ming, one of the two Yuanying Jinjuan of the Luoyun sect, also known as Buyu Jinjuan. In his previous life, when he was 27 years old, he crossed through spatial cracks and reached the realm of cultivation. He has excellent talent and carries the heavenly spirit root. As soon as he entered the sect, he was adopted by the elders as his personal disciple. In just 300 years, he completed his cultivation to the great perfection of Yuanying. Although he is a bitter cultivator, he has extremely strong fighting skills and has destroyed the seven major Yuanying sects, shaking the entire Zhongzhou cultivation world. Unfortunately, he ultimately fell under the calamity of transforming gods and was shattered by lightning. Until the moment of crossing the tribulation, Jiang Ning fully realized that although he was honored as the true prince of Yuanying and admired by millions of people, his pursuit of the Tao was greatly flawed. Under the invasion of the demon in his heart, he had carefully prepared various tribulation treasures, which were completely useless and had already gone berserk. The reason is that when he was 27 years old, his family passed away, his lover left, and his career suffered setbacks. At that time, his heart had already died, and he only lived aimlessly thereafter. When the sect gave him a martial arts technique that claimed to abandon the seven emotions and six desires, coupled with his heavenly spirit root aptitude, he could directly enter the Yuanning without hesitation, and he agreed without hesitation. From then on, he became an emotionless cultivation machine, advancing all the way and surpassing all the predecessors of the Luoyun sect. However, when he crossed the cycle of transforming into a divine calamity, he realized that transforming into a divine being is actually transforming into a mortal being. He abandoned his seven emotions and six desires, so what does he talk about transforming into a mortal being? So he failed. Jiang Ning sensed her body and found a body full of magic that was capable of carrying mountains and seas, disappearing without a trace. Even his divine consciousness, which could penetrate thousands of miles, disappeared. He pinched his thigh hard. Pain, it hurts too much. The constitution of a hard resistance weapon also no longer exists. This is not a dream, I really came back. Magic power, 
divine consciousness, the body that has been forged through countless trials and tribulations, magic treasures, divine weapons, elixirs, and talismans, all of which have been cherished for countless years, have been lost. Even if the transformation of divine calamity is terrifying, it is impossible to completely deprive him of everything. What made Jiang Ning more convinced of all this was that he actually could laugh. Since he practiced the martial arts that claimed to abandon the seven emotions and six desires, he has not laughed for three hundred years, and he has long lost the instinct to laugh. Jiang Ning's heart was filled with joy, even though he had lost countless years of hard work, he was not at all discouraged. Because only at this moment did he feel that he was not a piece of wood, but a real person. Suddenly, a commotion came from the shoulder. The girl woke up, her fair and delicate face hanging a bit hazy, with a few messy strands of hair falling on her forehead, making her heart skip a beat. However, Jiang Ning quietly distanced herself. Jiang Ning was born in a small town under the jurisdiction of Guyon County, Yuzhou City. His parents work in coastal areas all year round, and he grew up with his grandparents, a very ordinary family. Jiang Ning scored 650 points in the middle school entrance examination, exceeding the score line of Yuzhou No. 4 Middle School. In order to provide better education, his parents requested his elder brother who lived in Yuzhou City, Jiang Ning's uncle, to stay with him and attend No. 4 Middle School. Uncle readily agreed, but after Jiang Ning arrived at his house, he was not happy after three years of high school. Auntie is not a easy going person, with a harsh personality and a love for wealth. She often finds trouble to educate Jiang Ning, and in addition, she has a younger son of the same age as Jiang Ning, who is Jiang Ning's cousin. Jiang Ning was placed under the supervision of others and was inevitably forced to compare in daily life. He couldn't compare to his cousin in all aspects, so he suffered various setbacks, let alone countless differential treatments. As a result, after graduating, Jiang Ning never went to his uncle's house again, and his original kinship relationship became extremely strained. The girl sitting next to Jiang Ning at this moment is Shen Qingyi, from the same town as Jiang Ning. He is the younger sister of his sister Dotin Dot Law and will live with him in the uncle's house in the future. Shen Qingyi is beautiful, while Jiang Ning admires AI at a young age and falls in love with her. I usually share delicious and fun things with her, and treat her so well that she looks like a licking dog. He thought living together would bring him closer to the water tower. However, when Shen Qingyi came to Yuzhou and saw a bigger world, how did a young man like Jiang Ning from a small town catch her eye? Compared to her peers in Yuzhou city, Jiang Ning has almost no outstanding advantages. She has an average appearance, is not tall, and is not good at sports. The top grades in the small town barely make it to the middle of the city, which is far behind those top students in the class. He only has 100 yuan in pocket money every month. What does he use to win Shen Qingyi's favor? Shen Qingyi kept hanging on to Jiang Ning for three years, flirting with excellent boys and occasionally getting to know him, which often left Jiang Ning feeling lost. After the college entrance examination, Shen Qingyi and a tall and handsome boy in the same class were both admitted to a key university in a coastal city, with a bright future. Jiang Ning only got into a second-tier university. It wasn't until he graduated and entered society that he realized Shen Qingyi's actions and silently deleted her contact information. From then on, the two of them had no intersection. At this moment, when he saw Shen Qingyi again, Jiang Ning felt a sense of seclusion. He vividly recalled many memories about her, but it was true that the girl left a deep impression on him. This can also be attributed to Jiang Ning's hundreds of years of cultivation, with 99% of his time devoted to cultivation and being a bitter cultivator. How long until we reach the station? Shen Qingyi rubbed her eyes. Jiang Ning glanced at the road signs outside and was almost at the station. Seeing that Jiang Ning didn't pay attention, Shen Qingyi furrowed her brow and made a sound. Jiang Ning, where have you been? I'll be at the station soon, Jiang Ning replied to her. Shen Qingyi seemed to realize something and stopped talking. 
The bus entered the station, the ticket seller shouted, and Jiang Ning got off with a suitcase. Jiang Ning, the box is so heavy. Shen Qingyi struggled to lift it and blinked at Jiang Ning. If Jiang Ning had seen her appearance before, there would have been no need for her to remind her. She would have rushed up and picked it up for her. Now Jiang Ning lowered her head to look at her small body, feeling that it was better to forget. Shen Qingyi was speechless, carrying a box and leaving with hatred. Jiang Ning followed the crowd towards the exit of the station. At the exit, Shen Qingyi looked at a milk tea shop across from her and rolled her hair in front of her forehead. I'm so thirsty, sister. I don't know when they will arrive. Hello everyone, I am the author Mushroom. I came back from the 700,000 words and left a message for new readers. Only the beginning is about urban cultivation, but in fact, the end is about daily life. It's not about the return of the immortal emperor pretending to be brainless and forced to face him. Just read on and you'll know, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Past People and Events You Are Listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Past People and Events Jiang Ning followed her gaze and saw a milk tea shop across from the station, with several people lined up at the entrance. In 2013, domestic milk tea shops were far from reaching the level of flooding in later generations. A few years later, the milk tea shop across from the train station will also go bankrupt under the impact of various internet celebrity franchise stores. At this point, a cup of milk tea costs 3 to 4 yuan, which is similar to the price of cola. With Jiang Ning's pocket money, he can also afford to drink it. If it had been before, he would definitely have bought it for Shen Qin Yi, and he has always been generous with her. If you're thirsty, drink some water, Jiang Ning said in a calm tone. Shen Qin Yi Jiang Ning, are you in a bad mood? The girl's mind is delicate, and she has also noticed the changes in Jiang Ning. Previously, Jiang Ning had given her everything, but as a result, she took a bus, as if she had changed someone else. Hmm. Jiang Ming didn't have the heart to talk to her. Now, starting over again, his mind is on how to spend this life. You still need to continue studying, otherwise suddenly not studying will cause a lot of trouble for your parents. Jiang Ming also wants to experience a carefree student era again. When he graduated from college and entered society, he was buried in a busy job, enduring various hypocrisy day after day, and had countless dreams of being a teenager. Live a good life, or let go of the past. In modern society, living a dignified life requires money. With money, he can only live a better life by moving out of his uncle's house. In this life, he will never rely on others or be looked at by others. Qing Yi, Qing Yi. The distant sound echoed into Jiang Ning's ears. Across the street, a woman in her twenties stood in front of a sedan, waving at the two of them. She was the wife of her cousin. Sister. Shen Qing Yi forgot about her previous displeasure, wore a sweet smile on her face, and carried the box through the zebra crossing. Hey, if it weren't for your brother dot in dot law being too busy these days, I would have let him drive to the town to pick you up. The sister dot in dot law took Shen Qing Yi's hand and spoke affectionately. Then she shifted her gaze and looked at Jiang Ning. You are Jiang Ning, right? Well, hello, sister dot in dot law. Jiang Ming nodded, still wearing a faint smile. He stayed at his uncle's house in his past life, but his sister dot in dot law didn't actually welcome him, or even despised him. It was just that he didn't realize it at the beginning, but now he's doing it again, and he already knows it. Hurry up and get in the car. After putting away the suitcase, Jiang Ning sat in the back seat. The car started, and there were not many vehicles on the way. The traffic congestion in the urban area of Yuzhou City today is far less severe than in later generations. Tang's sister Dot and Dot Law just obtained her driver's license this year. While driving, she chatted with Shen Qing Yi in the passenger seat, and occasionally laughed when they started chatting. Jiang Ning, sitting in the back seat, silently fastened her seatbelt. He used to be a cultivator, 
but that was the past. Now, he is ultimately a mortal body. If he gets hit and killed in a car accident, he will have a lot of fun. Jiang Ning remembers clearly that next year, his sister in law was fully responsible for the accident when she hit someone with a bone fracture while driving, resulting in a compensation of 180,000 yuan. Nevertheless, Jiang Ning did not remind her sister in law to pay attention to driving, as it would only increase her sense of disgust. Ten minutes later, the car drove into a mid to high end residential area. The sister in law parked the car in the underground garage and led the two of them to take the elevator up to the ninth floor. The house of uncle's family is a large flat floor, 180 square meters, with five bedrooms and two living rooms. Living together, the whole family still looks spacious. Uncle opened a small restaurant in the city center, which has been in operation for 15 years. It is a well-known old restaurant, and many old customers support it on weekdays. In recent years, business has been good, earning three to 400,000 yuan per year. This large flat apartment only earns over two years of profit from the hotel. The housing prices in Yujo City will not experience a surge until 2017. Now, the price of this house will rise from 50,000 yuan to 8,000 yuan within a year, and then continue to exceed 10,000 yuan. Qin Yi and Jiang Ning are here, come in quickly. Auntie stood at the door, taking out two pairs of slippers and handing them over. Jiang Ning put on her shoes and walked into the door on the wooden floor. The interior decoration leans towards Chinese style. The uncle has never attended school and prefers a combination of Chinese and Western styles. He uses the old decoration scheme, and there is also a very fancy combination of Chinese and Western style headlights hanging from the ceiling, highlighting a unique aesthetic. Leave your luggage here, I'll show you the room. Auntie led the two of them, feel free to let me know if you need anything, and I'll take you to buy it. At this moment, Jiang Ning spoke up and said, Auntie, don't bother. I plan to rent a house nearby for easy reading. As soon as these words were spoken, Aunt was stunned. Her husband had agreed to let Jiang Ning move in, but she was very unhappy. Poor relatives from the countryside can help, but they can directly let people live at home and stay for three years. Is it decent? But her husband has already agreed, and she is angry in her heart, but she also considers face and cannot retract. Now that Jiang Ning couldn't hold back, she was surprised. Reading, you can read at my house. She dissuaded. Jiang Ning still insisted, no need, I'll call my parents later to confirm this matter. It's just a few days before the start of school, and I'll take advantage of these days to find a house. Jiang Ning spoke in a clear and organized manner, but her aunt did not persuade her anymore. She was afraid of continuing to persuade her, and if Jiang Ning changed her mind, it would still be her fault. Okay, you can call your parents first to discuss and keep the room at home for you at any time. Well done, Jiang Ming nodded. After this experience, my aunt's attitude became more enthusiastic, peeling fruits and asking for warmth one after another, which made Jiang Ming feel a bit uncomfortable. Taking a break, Jiang Ming walked out the door. He took out his phone to check the time, and the 3.5-inch screen showed 5 p.m. in the afternoon. There are several game icons on the screen homepage, including Temple Escape, Fruit Cutting, Crocodile Bathing, and Enodia 3. Touching her smartphone, Jiang Ning's eyes flashed with nostalgia. This is a counterfeit machine. When I was in the third year of junior high school, my dad bought it for 300 yuan in the business hall. Although it was cheap, it carried many memories for him. Even though he got paid for his work later and gritted his teeth to buy the latest fruit phone, it was only a novelty for a week. He called his mother. Jiang Ning's exit was the key. Mom, I want to rent a house next to number 4 middle school. There was a moment of silence on the other end of the phone, followed by a gentle voice. What's wrong, son? Can't you get used to living at uncle's house? After hundreds of years, hearing her mother's voice again, Jiang Ning felt a variety of emotions in her heart. 
He took two deep breaths, slowed down for a moment, and said. Mom, uncle's family is all very good, but the two families are far apart. Anyway, there are some differences between them. If we live together in the future and have different living habits, there may be conflicts, and uncle's side may find it difficult to do so. So, I want to rent a house by myself and just go for a walk to my uncle's house often. Isn't that the case with my relatives? My former classmate, who went to high school, also had many people renting houses outside. For meals, I usually eat in the school cafeteria, and on Saturdays and Sundays, I cook for myself in Jiang Ming's heart, his mother Dong Yun was very gentle towards him. From childhood to adulthood, she had never hit him and would listen carefully to his words. Son, you've grown up and you're an idea. You can say that, mom believes you. On your dad's end, I'll tell you to take care of your health, eat well, and not be too competitive. When renting, I'll call your uncle back. Mom patiently reminded her a lot, and listening to her voice, Jiang Ning not only didn't feel annoyed, but also chatted with her for a few minutes before hanging up the phone. Not long after, a text message came. Dear Jiang Ning, your savings account ending in XXXX has transferred 2,000 yuan, with a balance of 2,200 yuan. Son, when renting a house, take a closer look. If you don't have enough money, I'll transfer it to you. Okay, I remember. Jiang Ning closed the screen and smiled at the corner of her mouth. That's great. My parents are in good health and I am still young. It's not too late yet. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Quenched Body You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 3 Quenched Body Jiang Ning walked along the road, looking at the buildings on both sides of the street, constantly comparing their changes with those of later generations. After the old houses here were demolished, a large number of relocated households were created, and a 32 story building was erected, which will become a new landmark in the future. With Jiang Ning's memories, the huge sense of alienation gradually dissipated, and the feeling of being down. To dot earth returned. He sensed the spiritual energy around him and realized that the concentration was much lower than that of the sect in his previous life. The higher the concentration of spiritual energy, the faster the cultivation speed. If it drops to a certain level, with the aptitude of his heavenly spiritual roots, he will also feel a headache. As Jiang Ning walked along the way, half an hour later, he was far away from the city center. The greenery here was better, and the spiritual energy was almost 30% stronger than before. He continued walking and unknowingly arrived at the dam, where a flat asphalt road was built. There are many people walking and running, some grandfathers holding small Bluetooth speakers and playing traditional Chinese opera leisurely, and there are also old men selling fish on the roadside. Jiang Ming stood by the side, looked up, and the view was quite broad. In the distance, a river flowed quietly, and many boats were parked on the hundred-meter-wide river surface. This is Huishui River. The concentration of spiritual energy in this place has almost doubled compared to the city center, which is enough to support Jiang Ning's cultivation. In this lifetime, Jiang Ning will certainly not give up on cultivation. There are too many benefits to practicing, even without practicing the path of longevity, one can still strengthen the body, prolong life, and possess abilities that ordinary people cannot reach. Jiang Ning did not forget the helplessness and desolation of his family being hospitalized for a serious illness and paying expensive fees, yet still unable to save their loved one's lives. Nowadays, as long as one cultivates and becomes an immortal, refining a few targeted pills can ensure the safety of their loved ones throughout their lives. Moreover, living in modern society, without relying on cultivation, Jiang Ning cannot guarantee great wealth and prosperity. Before encountering the cultivation of immortals in his past life, he was just an ordinary office worker. Even though he had profits and knew everything that would happen in the future, his methods may not be sufficient to fight against those real business figures. Cultivation is his strongest talent. Jiang Ning glanced at a village under the river dam in the distance. Near the dam, a row of bungalows looked somewhat old. 
it's also the place he plans to rent. In the fourth year of Jiang Ning's previous life, when he returned to Yuzhou City for an internship, a news broke out. The old house was renovated, and the foundation was dug too deep. A small jar was dug out, and the gold bars inside caused workers to compete, causing a bloody incident and causing a considerable sensation. At that time, Jiang Ning went to join the fun, and the location was located in that row of bungalows, the third room from the west. Now that the jar has not yet been born, if Jiang Ning takes it, he can still avoid a bloody incident. Why not do it? There have been many similar incidents in recent years. For example, in 2017, several people in Yuzhou City studied lottery tickets and collaborated to buy many tickets. One of them won a bet, with a single prize of over 8 million yuan. However, it will take 17 years, and there are too many changes in the lottery industry. Jiang Ning has never believed it. By 17 years, he will have achieved success in his cultivation without the need for just a lottery ticket. What he needs to do now is to rent the house before the start of school, live in it himself, and then dig out the jar. This place is about 3 kilometers away from number 4 middle school. It takes 15 minutes to ride a bike and 40 minutes to walk, which is barely suitable. Jiang Ning glanced at the sky and saw that it was already sunset. She decided to make a phone call and tell her aunt that he would be eating out tonight. Uncle and cousin run a restaurant and often don't come back until early in the morning, so when aunt heard about it, she didn't have any objections and just spoke to her sister in law and Shen Qing Yi. Upon hearing this, Shen Qing Yi felt uneasy. Originally, Jiang Ning came to Yuzhou with her and said they wanted to take her out to play. However, on the first day, it was just like this, which was really outrageous. She secretly decided that she wouldn't say a word to Jiang Ning when he returned. Even if she went to see the school tomorrow, she decided not to watch it with Jiang Ning unless he comforted her and invited her to the snack street. As night fell, the street lights of Huishui River Dam lit up, and more and more pedestrians appeared. Jiang Ning paced and pondered what kind of martial arts to practice. In his previous life, his cultivation method was the I Sol Shen Xingju. When he reached a high level of cultivation, his seven emotions and six desires faded away, and he no longer had worldly desires. His whole body was like wood. In this life, Jiang Ning will never touch again. If a person loses their desire, what is the point of living? Jiang Ning flipped through the techniques in his mind and after screening, he selected three techniques. One cultivation method, one cultivation of spiritual consciousness, and one cultivation of body. He decided to cultivate three paths simultaneously. In the realm of cultivation, there is a strong spiritual energy. In the previous life, Jiang Ning specialized in practicing magic in the early stage, and only after reaching a certain level did he cultivate spiritual consciousness and physical body. Nowadays, the spiritual energy in the current world is scarce, and the three paths of cultivation are advancing side by side, which is suitable for rapidly improving strength. Although modern society is not suitable for cultivation, its huge industrial productivity also has advantages that the cultivation world cannot match. For example, the constantly making, buzzing, noise from the substation on the roadside in front of me. There is a label attached to the substation. High voltage danger, please do not approach. Jiang Ning sensed an electromagnetic field emanating from around the transformer box. If an ordinary person gets too close to the transformer box, they may encounter danger. This kind of thing is reported in news from all over the country. Jiang Ning also dared not approach. His body is fragile now, lacking exercise, and he cannot withstand high voltage. There is a technique in the treasure trove of the Luoyun sect called Nine Heavenly God Thunder Quenching Body Technique, which is a top-dot-notch body refining technique. That was tens of thousands of years ago, the Zhenzong cultivation technique of a power that relied on a thunder field and quickly rose to power. At its peak, three Yuan in great perfection cultivators emerged, 
with unparalleled combat power among their peers, dominating the entire cultivation world for nearly a thousand years. Later, the Thunder Domain dissipated and this sect declined. At that time, Jiang Ning chose to cultivate her body and considered this powerful technique. However, she eventually gave up. The Thunder Realm in the Immortal Cultivation Realm was rare, and she could only rely on the heavens to reward lightning for food, which was not in line with her true cultivation intention. Now, with a transformer box nearby, Jiang Ning immediately decided to practice the Nine Heavens God Thunder Quenching Body Technique. He sat down on the roadside two meters away from the transformer box, facing the Huishue River. This distance was not too close, and the passing uncles and aunties were even closer to him. Jiang Ning practiced the thunder technique, and with his qualifications and knowledge from his past life, he quickly got started. Being in an electromagnetic field, he was originally non-dot conductive, but he relied on this art of seizing heaven and earth to guide electric currents into his body through space. His Jiang Ning took a deep breath of cold air, and a faint electric current flowed into his body, causing his skin and flesh to itch, his hair to stand up, and he couldn't help but tremble all over. Fortunately, under the cover of night, no one noticed him. Jiang Ning constantly moved the current, refined his physique, and felt his body gradually strengthen, making him intoxicated. Time passed quietly, and the number of pedestrians on the dam gradually increased. Finally, they gradually dispersed before Jiang Ning got up. He used his fingertips to swipe the T-dot shirt, and a flash of electric light suddenly lit up, quite I-dot catching. Jiang Ning clenched her fists, her slender muscles bulging, and the electric current flowing, containing strength. Her body cultivation was indeed against the sky, and a few hours of cultivation was comparable to running for two months. This is cultivating immortality. Glancing at my phone, it's already 10.30 p.m. No surprise, Junlong is the high dot speed train at 11 o'clock tonight, Jiang Ning muttered to herself. Jiang Junlong is the youngest son of the uncle. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Shui Yuantong You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio. Chapter 4 Shui Yuantong At midnight, uncle's house was brightly lit. Uncle Jiang Qitian sat on the sofa with a stern face and a strong accent. You agreed to stay with me. Why did you back out and despise uncle's family? That's not true. Uncle's place is spacious and the decoration is grand. I just like to live alone in my daily life. If I didn't agree to live with you back then, my parents wouldn't let me come to the city to study. Jiang Ning found a reason. Uncle Jiang Qitian laughed and said, You kid, have you been playing with uncle for a while? Jiang Ning smiled and said, Didn't you know that uncle has a stomach? After chatting with uncle for a while, Jiang Ning finally explained clearly and uncle had no objections. Shen Qingyi next to her is holding her phone while watching anime, occasionally glancing at Jiang Ning. Since he returned, she hasn't said a word to herself, and she feels angry. If she doesn't speak, she won't speak. Cold War, who wouldn't? Cousin Jiang Junlong lay on the dining table, munching on his rice. He and his classmates went on a trip and played for half a month before returning. Now that Jiang Ning came to his home, he felt quite happy in his heart. When he was a child, during holidays, Jiang Ning would take him back to the town to the fields, roast sweet potatoes, set fire, and even go to small ditches to catch fish, which was very enjoyable. At the same age as him, Jiang Ning could always think of fun things. At that time, in his heart, Jiang Ning was omnipotent. Later, as he grew older and opened his horizons, the halo on Jiang Ning's body disappeared. But for Jiang Ning coming to Yuzhou City, Jiang Junlong is still welcome in his heart and will have some fun in the future. The next day, Jiang Ning woke up very early. When he woke up, his aunt was tidying up breakfast. Seeing that breakfast would take a while to finish, Jiang Ning said to look for a house and left. He found a breakfast shop on the way, drank egg soup, and ate a few big buns. Then I withdrew a thousand yuan in cash, 
and scanning QR codes for payment is not popular these days. Walking all the way to the Huishue River Dam, it was less than 7 o'clock and the temperature had not risen. Many elderly people took a walk on the dam, feeling very uncomfortable. Finding yesterday's practice site in the transformer box, Jiang Ning urged the nine heavenly god thunder quenching body Ju to start absorbing electricity in tempering his body. When the sun became scorching and Jiang Ning stopped practicing, he was still standing under the sun in temperatures over 30 degrees Celsius. It was estimated that someone might suspect that his mind was having a problem. Glancing at the time, it was already nine o'clock. Jiang Ning straightened her clothes and walked towards the bungalow. He is going to take care of the house today. After descending the dam and walking for a few minutes, I arrived at a row of flat houses. One of the bungalows is a small shop with poor business. Choosing to open a shop in this area is likely to earn some pocket money. A few gentlemen were sitting under the shade of a tree, playing cards and tasting tea, holding teapots. Seeing Jiang Ning, a young man of ten, five, or six years old, coming over, the big men didn't pay attention. Jiang Ning went straight to the third room in the west. He was not sure if anyone lived here, and if anyone did, it would probably take some effort. At this moment, a little girl came out from the next door, about 1.5 meters tall, like a primary school student, with scattered hair, black shorts paired with a white T-dot shirt, and blue slippers on her feet. When Jiang Ning saw the girl's face, she was stunned. She is Shui Yuan Tong, of the same age as herself, a very beautiful and strange little girl. Shui Yuan Tong took a sniff and waved his small hand to the side. The seller is over there, you went the wrong way. Jiang Ning said, I'm not buying anything. I want to ask, is this house occupied? Thank you. After hearing this, Shui Yuantong's gaze immediately became suspicious. She stared at Jiang Ning. Someone lives here, this family is really fierce. They have a big wolf dog, who will bite who? What's up with you? Oh well, I want to rent a house, it's a pity, he shook his head. Do you want to rent a house? Shui Yuantong's face stiffened. That's right. This is my home, she said with some embarrassment. Jiang Ming twitched at the corner of her mouth and said, Where's the one next to you? Both rooms are my house, right? How long do you want to rent a house? Why rent a house? Shui Yuantong hugged his chest with both hands and looked like he was in charge of the house, but his small stature showed a lack of confidence. Starting from a year, how much does it cost per month? Shui Yuantong had never rented a house before and was not quite sure about the price. After thinking for a moment, she shouted into the room. Mom, someone is coming to rent a house. Quickly, a woman in her forties walked out. Her clothes were clean, but it was evident that she had washed them many times and had turned a little white. Time had left marks on her face, and she looked much older than her aunt. Jiang Ning saw someone who could make the decision and immediately said. Hello auntie, I am studying at number 4 middle school next to me and would like to rent your house. Jiang Ning remembers that a few years later, the homeowner was not the woman in front of her. It seems that Shui Yuantong passed away later, and she sold the house. At this moment, Jiang Ning's gaze toward Shui Yuantong implied sympathy. You are also from number 4 middle school, and my daughter is also from number 4 middle school this year, the woman said with a smile. Jiang Ning thought to herself and deliberately said. Ah. Does she also attend number 4 middle school? I didn't see it, it's so impressive. Shui Yuantong listened to this tone and pursed her lips, feeling very happy. It was just a matter of 4 middle schools, and she could easily reach them with just a flick of her finger. The woman said gently, Tong Tong is just looking young. In fact, she is 15 years old this year. Mom, they're here to rent a house, not to chat with you. Auntie, how much does your house cost per month? Are you living alone? Yes. Let me show you the house first. Jiang Ning was led in, 
facing a square living room that was about five meters long and wide. After walking a few steps inside, he passed through a door and found a small outdoor courtyard with cement on the ground. Across from the courtyard were three slightly smaller houses, with the restroom, bedroom, and kitchen arranged in sequence. There are both tap water and solar water heaters, and the electricity and water meters are independent. You can move them in at any time. If you rent them, you can pay 200 yuan per month. Women don't speak up like lions. Although the house is decent, it is located in a remote area and strictly speaking, it is considered suburban. Whether it is for work or school, it is actually quite inconvenient. The house is also empty, so it is better to rent it out at a cheaper price to subsidize household expenses. Of course, it's also because Jiang Ning is white and pure, and the students of number 4 middle school don't seem like bad people. If young people from society ask about the house, she will definitely not agree. Okay. Jiang Ning settled down, and the price was similar to his expectations. He didn't negotiate. The two of them made a verbal agreement, and Jiang Ning gave her 800 yuan, a deposit of 1 to 3, and then obtained a key. Next, Jiang Ning went to the city to purchase daily necessities, and then went to uncle's house to get a suitcase. Auntie didn't expect Jiang Ning to find the house so quickly, and she looked very surprised. After seeing it, the sister Dot in Dot Law drove to help Jiang Ning, and Jiang Junlong followed over when he had nothing to do. Many people have great power, and Jiang Ning quickly purchased all the necessary items for daily life, such as mats, blankets, desk lamps, water basins, and some daily necessities. Auntie also gave Jiang Ning the remaining induction cookers that the restaurant had purchased last time. After sorting them out, renting a room gave a bit of a sense of life. Shui Yuantong sat on the small stool in front of the door, holding half a watermelon that was even bigger than her head. He scooped up the fragrance with a spoon and witnessed the busy work of Jiang Ning and the others from beginning to end. Her eyes were agile and she said, Jiang Ning's relatives have a car at home. Judging from their attire and appearance, they seem to be quite wealthy. Why did they come here to rent a house? Is there any hidden truth? Forget it, forget it. Anyway, it's not my business. The best thing is to provide more income for the family and save my mother some effort. Jiang Junlong looked at his mother and sister dot in dot law cleaning the room for Jiang Ning, and his eyes flashed envy. He also wanted to have such a small world, but unfortunately not. If his mother knew, she promised to strangle him. He didn't do household chores since childhood and couldn't help, so he just stood at the door, sighing in his heart, feeling that he didn't have freedom. Turning to see Shui Yuantong eating big watermelons there, I felt that the little girl was really beautiful and lovely. He shouted, Hey, kid, brother treat you to chocolate. Speaking, he took out a beautifully packaged chocolate from his pocket, which was a specially bought nut chocolate during a trip. Each chocolate cost 15 yuan, and he himself was reluctant to eat it. Upon hearing these words, Shui Yuantong immediately stared at him. Jiang Junlong saw the little girl with a fierce expression and angrily withdrew the chocolate, muttering to himself. Ah, rude elementary school students. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 School Day You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 School Day Two Days Later. At night, the dam. Jiang Ning rode a mountain bike, facing the night breeze and the sound of Adidas hunting clothes blew away the knot in his heart. The mountain bike was given to him by Jiang Junlong, saying it was convenient for him to go to school on a regular basis. He was very persistent in his attitude, but Jiang Ning did not refuse. He will give him a few pills as compensation in the future. The Adidas clothes and Nike shoes on his body were bought by the uncle for him. He bought two sets in total and spent more than 2,000 yuan. The uncle was very kind to him and used to give him pocket money. Later, his parents were worried about spending money recklessly. After telling the uncle, the uncle changed to giving clothes as gifts. 
These past two days, we have been having meals at uncle's house, and his relationship with uncle's family has become increasingly smooth. In his past life, he lived with his uncle's family, and day after day, various conflicts arising from his lifestyle habits gradually became irreconcilable. Good relatives eventually became strangers. At this point, I looked at them from a different perspective, but I also made different discoveries, which undoubtedly brings me too much comfort. The things from the past life are worth learning from, but when reborn, under the butterfly effect, many people and things have changed, and Jiang Ning will not look at them completely from the old perspective. This is a brand new life. Jiang Ning pressed the brake and came to the side of the substation to operate the technique. As her body strength continued to increase, she became more proficient in absorbing electricity. After two days of tempering, Jiang Ning's slender body concealed strength that was no less than that of an adult male. Not only did her strength improve, but her physical condition improved in all aspects. In modern society, some men who sit in the office all year round have the same strength, but their bodies are in a sub-healthy state. Various problems such as back pain and soreness always have some hidden injuries or flaws. And Jiang Ning's body, strengthened by the continuous refining of electric currents, is in a perfect state everywhere. If it is maintained like this, even if it does not break through the realm, he can still prolong his life and live a hundred years. But tomorrow, I'm afraid I can only come in the evening. Today is August 30th, and tomorrow is the 31st, which is the start date of the first year of high school at Yujo Fourth Middle School. There will be division of classes, military training uniforms will be issued, and more than a week of military training will begin. Now that the body is adapted to the current, it will take another week to try further. And the cultivation of the Dharma cannot be left behind, after all, in order to obtain the golden altar in the future, one must rely on magical power and take the jar unnoticed by the gods and ghosts. Practicing physical fitness not only relies on martial arts, but also on keeping up with nutritional supplements, otherwise one will become useless in practice. His appetite has recently increased quite a bit. He can go to uncle's house to grab a meal in the short term, but as time goes on, it's not good. Jiang Ning needs money to supplement his nutrition, such as milk, pork ribs, and fruits. If he eats a large amount of these things, his living expenses will definitely not be enough. Jiang Ning pondered over various details until late at night, when she finally got up and went back. Shui Yuantong is very capable of staying up late. This summer, she had a great time playing and didn't fall asleep until after 12 o'clock every night. When she heard the sound of the door opening next door, she thought strangely. Jiang Ning runs outside all day and doesn't come back until 11 p.m. every night. Did she go to the internet cafe to surf the internet? In recent years, there are many internet cafes in Yujo City, even miners can use network management cards to access the internet. CF and dungeons are in high demand, and LOL is starting to rise. Despite the emergence of smartphones, internet cafes are still in a prosperous state. Mind him. Shui Yuantong blew the electric fan and continued playing mobile games. August 31st, the start of the school year. At 7 o'clock in the morning, Jiang Ning pushed the mountain bike to the door and lightly tapped her temples with her fingers. Last night, he practiced the secret technique of divine consciousness and stayed up until 3 a.m. before falling asleep in intense exhaustion. After just a few hours of practice, the effect has begun to show signs. My eyesight has greatly improved. In the distance, there are several electric wires connected to the poles, and a few sparrows stand on top. Their beaks comb through brown feathers. In front of the house, at the intersection of the patterns on the leaves of the high dot ranking poplar tree, there is a black bug lying on the ground. Everything is reflected in my eyes, and it is very delicate. Jiang Ning's addiction to smartphones in the third year of junior high school led to an increase in his degree, around 50 degrees. However, he felt that the world was not as clear as before. Now that he has honed his spiritual consciousness, his five senses have made tremendous progress, 
and his vision has completely returned to normal, and he is even better. The old man from the neighboring households just ran back in the morning, holding a teapot filled with camellia oleifera. The unique spicy aroma spread out, and the yellow dog following him spat out his tongue and exhaled. The whole world is in his perception, extremely divine, which is the effect of enhancing divine consciousness. If Jiang Ning cultivates the method, breaking through the four layers of qi cultivation will bring greater benefits to spiritual consciousness. Riding a mountain bike along the Huishue River Dam, although it is summer, the morning is refreshing and cool. Halfway through the ride, Jiang Ning saw a small figure ahead, and Shui Yuantong next door also started school. Shui Yuantong, I'll take you. Jiang Ning tapped her toes on the ground and invited her. A typical mountain bike does not come with a rear seat, but the mountain bike given by my cousin Jiang Junlong not only comes with front and rear mudguards, but also an extra sturdy rear seat with a soft cushion, making it easy to carry people. Shui Yuantong saw Jiang Ming's mountain bike and was a little bit moved, but with her character, she could not take the boy's bike. No need, I'm used to walking. Jiang Ming said, get on the bus quickly, you'll be late soon. He will be digging someone else's house in a while, and he feels a bit guilty in his heart. If he can compensate for it now, it's just a little bit, at least he can be more calm. Seeing Jiang Ning's resolute attitude, Shui Yuantong almost agreed. It was three kilometers to fourth middle school, and she had to walk for over forty minutes. Before she could even walk halfway, she felt very tired. But when she thought about Jiang Ning not being familiar with her and even renting her own house and paying rent, she felt embarrassed to ride on someone else's car. Shui Yuantong lowered his head and said in a muffled voice, You go first, I get motion sickness. Jiang Ning almost burst out laughing, the first time she heard a feeling dizzy on a bicycle. Okay, goodbye. Jiang Ning stepped on her foot twice and gracefully surpassed Shui Yuantong. When Jiang Ning's figure disappeared, Shui Yuantong's head drooped. In fact, she had an electric bike at home that she could ride to school. But the first time she rode a bike, she rushed down the dam and almost scared her out of her wits. If it weren't for being blocked by a tree, she would probably have fallen into a puddle. Even so, her arms and legs were scraped and hurt for a long time. From then on, she dared not ride an electric bike anymore and every time it was her mother who took her with her. In the past, when she was in junior high school, her mother sent her to and from school. Now that she is a high school student and a mature adult, when her mother suggested sending her to school, she casually refused. Jokes. Do I need someone else to pick me up, Shui Yuantong? Looking at the long road ahead, Shui Yuantong could only sigh and swallow the bitter fruit alone. She had originally planned to take a part-time job during the summer vacation, but she was young and hadn't fully developed yet. She was always considered a primary school student, making it difficult to find a suitable part-time job. Later, her mother reassured her to study, so Shui Yuantong stayed at home for the whole summer vacation. Happiness was truly joyful, and she had long forgotten the taste of going to school. Now that school is starting, she suddenly feels the arrival of suffering and extremely resists it in her heart. Why is there such a thing as the start of school in the world? It's not bragging, even if she self.studies at home, she can easily win first place. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Class 8 of Grade 1 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Class 8 of Grade 1 Yujo No. 4 High School has been established for 59 years now. Among the entire Yujo Senior High School, it ranks in the top 3, although not as good as the best No. 2 Middle School, it also has its own uniqueness. In front of the Academic Affairs Office, there are several large wooden boards with a class schedule for high school freshmen pasted on them. The students gathered in a large crowd, making a lot of noise. Jiang Ning came to see it the day before yesterday. There are a total of 12 classes in the first year of high school. The first, second, and third classes are experimental classes, also known as key classes. 
the maximum score in the middle school entrance examination is 925, while the regular class requires 640 points, and the key class requires 700 points to be admitted. He is in class 8 of the first year of high school, consistent with his past life. Since he knew his class, Jiang Ning didn't join the fun and walked straight towards class 8. If there were no accidents, there would be no difference in the classmates. Class 8 of the first year of high school is located on the first floor, with a prominent location. For some reasons, class 1 of the key class is next to them. Jiang Ming knows that in a month, class 8 will move to the second floor of the adjacent teaching building. Jiang Ming walked in, and most of the students in the class were already there. At a glance, they were all familiar and unfamiliar faces, and there were not enough people who could match their names. Jiang Ning has forgotten most of what they did in high school, their grades, and their future development, only remembering a few of the more famous ones. The class was noisy, with familiar classmates chatting about various topics together. Some bold classmates sat directly on their desks, while others quietly played with their phones. Shen Qingyi has already arrived, sitting in the third row chatting with two girls. Jiang Ning entered the class and only caught a momentary attention, but then became calm again. He has an ordinary appearance and comes from a township, so he naturally has no shining points. After noticing him, Shen Qingyi wanted to say hello, but after some thought, she decided to forget about it. Getting to know someone like Jiang Ning didn't bring her any benefits, and she was far behind her cousin Jiang Junlong. She told a new girl that Jiang Junlong had gone to the experimental class at number 2 middle school, which surprised her quite a bit. The admission score for the ordinary class of number 2 middle school is comparable to that of the experimental class of number 4 middle school, let alone the experimental class of number 2 middle school. In the future, they will definitely be the seedlings of 985 universities. Looking for a corner by the window, Jiang Ning played with his phone while releasing his five senses. The noisy sounds in the classroom were like being plucked by an invisible hand, instantly becoming layered like strings. He could choose any sound he wanted to listen to. Jiang Ning blocked most of it, leaving only two pleasant female voices, and then immersed himself in his own world. Practice gradually, without worrying about Jiang Ning. There are secret techniques for refining spiritual consciousness, which is the most important cultivation method. Jiang Ning has not yet determined the cultivation method, but he has already gained insight. In this world, spiritual energy is scarce, and the cultivation method must not have high requirements for spiritual energy. Jiang Ning has two cultivation methods to choose from, one of which is called Eternal Qingshou. This cultivation method does not have high requirements for spiritual energy, and emphasizes that the Tao is generated from the heart. The progress is slow, and it accumulates over time. Even with Jiang Ning's natural spiritual root qualifications, choosing this cultivation method can only rely on time to endure the realm, and the victory is relatively stable. And another technique, Hua Xing Ju, encompasses everything. It is commendable that it not only absorbs spiritual energy, but also has high efficiency in transforming various types of energy, such as the power of the stars. After weighing the pros and cons, Jiang Ning decided to practice the star transformation technique. He has practiced this technique many times in his past life, always feeling that it contains the rules of the Tao, but unfortunately, he was unable to deduce the rules of the Tao in the end. Looking back now, if we could master the rules of the Tao during the Yuanying period, even if it was just a strand, we could use the rules to avoid the divine thunder calamity of enlightenment. It's just that the rules of the Tao are hard to find. Jiang Ning once ordered people to read the history books of the founding of the Luoyun sect for thousands of years, and he never heard of cultivators under the cultivation world who controlled the rules of the Tao. It's probably just a legend. For me, there is a lack of spiritual energy in the world, and elixirs are essential. Although there are very few spiritual herbs in this world, most of them are ordinary herbs, it is not difficult to cultivate to the golden elixir stage with the ability of transforming stars and determining dot. After all, 
before the Yuanning period, the heavenly spirit root had no bottlenecks and did not require the hard work of seeking various breakthrough pills. In his past life, he was ordinary and mediocre, without any special abilities. However, after entering the cultivation world, he found out that he was actually a heavenly spiritual root, which can be said to be a manipulation of nature. Adjacent to Yuzhou City is the renowned pharmaceutical capital Chaozhou, which has the largest wholesale market for traditional Chinese medicine in central China. When they receive the gold from Shui Yuantong's family, they will go and make good purchases. As Jiang Ning pondered, a familiar sound of footsteps came into his ears, and with his ear power, he could distinguish who the person was without any difficulty. He looked up and saw that Shui Yuantong had just stepped into the classroom door, with a rosy face and a layer of fine sweat on his forehead, looking quite tired. On a hot day, walking three kilometers, the little girl is quite fierce. Jiang Ning secretly said. Shui Yuantong was almost the latest classmate to arrive in class. Shortly after, a round-faced man in his thirties held a list and crossed the classroom door. As he stood on the podium, the classroom gradually quieted down. He wrote three big characters on the blackboard. Shan Qingrong. The classmates suddenly understood that this was their future homeroom teacher. My name is Shan Qingrong, and I will be the homeroom teacher of class 8 in our first year of high school in the future. I will be responsible for all the work of the class for a period of time, said Shan Qingrong in a loud voice as his voice fell, the class's voice completely fell silent. During high school, the class teacher's deterrent power was still quite strong. Papa Pa, Jiang Ning clapped her hands in the corner, and the classmates in the class followed suit with applause, which echoed throughout the entire classroom. Shan Qingrong noticed Jiang Ning and nodded inwardly, a sensible classmate. He pressed his hand down lightly, and the applause suddenly stopped. First, take your name and raise your hand if you hear your name. Huang Zhongfei, White Rain Summer, Dong Qingfeng, Shui Yuantong, Shen Qingyi, Ma Shi Cheng, listening to familiar names ring out one by one, those distant memories gradually fit together. Huang Zhongfei's name sounds quite old. Fashioned, but he is tall and handsome. He is the most handsome boy in the entire freshman year, and he will be elected as the class monitor in the future, which is very popular among classmates, especially female students. Dong Qingfeng comes from a privileged family with good grades and good looks, but he looks down on those with poor grades and classmates from counties and towns. Well, what he looks down on is people like Jiang Ning. Jiang Ning had a conflict with him back then, which made things unpleasant. Once again, Jiang Ning has long forgotten those contradictory details, probably just inconspicuous small things. There is also Bai Yuxia, who is recognized as the most popular girl in class 8. Just in this class, there are 7 or 8 boys who secretly love her. Bai Yuxia's appearance surpasses Shen Qin Yi's, and she consistently ranks in the top 3 of her class. Her family is also good. Her mother is the deputy chief physician of the Municipal People's Hospital, and her father is an associate professor at Yujo University of Finance and Economics. In a third and fourth tier city like Yujo, she is undoubtedly a middle dot class or above family. After reciting his name, Shan Qingrong took a ruler and carved several straight lines on the blackboard, marking them 150 to 180 in sequence. Measure your height and take it for military training. Huang Zhongfei took the lead and easily surpassed the 180 line, estimated to be around 182. The key is that he is only a freshman, 15 or 16 years old, and has the potential to continue growing taller in the future. His tall and handsome appearance has attracted many young students to whisper. Next, things became much more normal. Most boys are in the range of 170 to 5 centimeters, after all, boys can still continue to grow taller by the age of 18. Jiang Ning went up and measured it, 165. He sighed in his heart. This height is lower than average among the boys in the class, and Jiang Ning will grow to 175 in the future. Although height is not very important, especially after entering society, 
money is the father. However, if people want to grow a few centimeters without paying any price, most people may be willing, and it is always beneficial. Later on, Jiang Ning became immortal. Although he could change his body shape, he never moved. In fact, Jiang Ning's parents have good genes, but in his past life during the developmental period of high school, he often didn't like his aunt's behavior and didn't eat, which delayed his development. On the girl's side, Shui Yuantong was the shortest in the class. In private, a boy called her elementary school student, and Shui Yuantong's lungs were about to explode in anger, wishing he could tear her apart. Jiang Ning watched silently, knowing that Shui Yuantong would grow to 160 in the future and would no longer be called a dwarf. However, her year of 160 was also the last year of her life. Jiang Ning, have you noticed that there are a lot of pretty girls in our class? Ma Xiuqing's acne on his face became excited. Without waiting for Jiang Ning's reply, a male classmate with a central split next to him said. Yeah, my friends and I were all stunned. Jiang Ning twitched at the corner of her mouth, it was such a nostalgic joke, the one with long hair is so beautiful, the eyes are really beautiful, and the skin is also good. There is no acne. Yes, I also think it looks good. Another classmate joined the chat. You're still young, you don't understand. Ma Xiuqing pretended to be profound. So you understand very well. The classmate was not convinced. Whether it looks really good or not will only be known when you put on military training uniforms, said Ma Xiu with a firm expression. A few girls wearing military training uniforms talked about military personnel, then turned to retired veterans they knew, talked about national enmity and family hatred, jumped to military comparison, and finally replaced themselves to guide the country, full of energy. Not to mention, Jiang Ning really has a youthful flavor when she listens. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Distinguishing People You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 Distinguishing People The military training uniform was carried over by Huang Zhongfei and a few others. Jiang Ning received his military training uniform and thanked him, while Huang Zhongfei smiled brightly. Serving classmates is necessary. As Huang Zhongfei left, Ma Xiuqing said, This guy is quite handsome. He can compare with me soon. The female classmate at the front desk turned her head to look at him, her gaze very offensive, which made Ma Xiuqing unhappy in his heart. What, do you have any objections? The female classmate said, people are precious and have self-awareness. Ma Xiuqing urgently retorted that he really thought he was so handsome. Every time he looked in the mirror, he thought how could there be such a beautiful man in the world. Every time he went to his relative's house, he was praised for being more and more handsome. In middle school, he called himself the most handsome in the class in front of his good friends, and his good friends also agreed. On the first day of school, I was questioned about my appearance by a female classmate, causing chaos in my situation. Shan Qingrong on the podium informs everyone. The textbooks will be distributed after the military training is over. This morning, everyone will be studying at school and there will be a new student meeting in the afternoon. No one is allowed to be absent. After the military training ends, select the class monitor and divide the seats after the first monthly exam. After saying a few more words, Shan Qingrong left the classroom. One minute later, the classroom became noisy again. Ma Xiuqing wanted to argue with his female classmate, but felt that the girls were too angry and could only hold it in his heart. After a while, he became bored and inquired. Jiang Ning, which middle school do you attend? You probably haven't heard of the town below, Jiang Ning said. How many points did you score? 650, Jiang Ning was pondering his martial arts while dealing with Ma Shicheng. Ma Shicheng didn't notice Jiang Ning's perfunctory behavior and remained enthusiastic. The two girls at the front table joined the chat after hearing about the high school entrance exam results. Self-study until noon break, Jiang Ning didn't go home. He went to the cafeteria to get a high-dot-end meal, which cost 10 yuan. 
These days, the cafeteria food is not cheap, and the taste is average. Relying on these nutrients to exercise, he definitely can't hold on. After finishing lunch, he bought a box of milk and strolled around the campus. In the scorching sun, Jiang Ning searched for a big tree and sat down to rest. Compared to noisy and dull classrooms, he prefers an open campus. Not only Jiang Ning, but also two cute girls with the same looks and clothes, gathered together to talk quietly. When they saw Jiang Ning coming, their voices became smaller and smaller, almost like mosquitoes. One of the girls is named Chen Siyu, who is in the same class as Jiang Ning. As for the other girl, Jiang Ning doesn't know her. Jiang Ning closed her eyes and meditated, their whispers drifting into his ears. Sister, there is a handsome boy in our class. Really, how handsome is it? He is even more handsome than the male star of the Korean team. His name is Huang Zhongfei. In the afternoon, we will switch classes and watch for ourselves. Hmm, okay, won't it be discovered? Chen Xiching hesitated. Don't worry, have you seen the boy next to you? He's in the same class as me, and his name seems to be Jiang. I forgot. You go say hello to him, practice in advance, and make sure you don't recognize him. Chen Xiching agreed, it sounds exciting, but she loves excitement the most. She walked over to Jiang Ning and gently called out. Classmates, classmates. Jiang Ning opened her eyes and said, Is there anything wrong? Are you from class 8? I saw you this morning, my name is Chen Siyu. Chen Xiching's expression was normal, and she couldn't see any flaws. Chen Siyu, standing beside her, felt a sense of joy in her heart. She and her sister often relied on their appearance to tease others. Whenever others were confused, she felt an extraordinary joy, as if she had won a victory. Jiang Ning said, Your name is Chen Siyu. He looked at the real Chen Siyu and said, She is Chen Siyu. As the words fell, a pair of twins widened their eyes. Are you eavesdropping on us? Chen Siyu retorted. No, your voices are so low. Who can hear you? Jiang Ning didn't admit. That's right, Chen Siyu said. So how did you discover it? I can tell at a glance that she's not you. As for the reason, guess it. Of course, Chen Siyu couldn't guess. Without an answer, she felt like a cat scratching in her heart. She and her sister were identical twins. Their appearance was almost identical, even their voice was the same. Changing roles was never found. It's so inexplicable that it fell into Jiang Ming's hands today. She couldn't help but wonder, how did Jiang Ming discover something different? She must figure it out, otherwise she and her sister will be caught switching roles in the future. Jiang Ming didn't have the time to deal with the two of them, just casually saying a few words and practicing with her eyes closed. Upon seeing this, Chen Siyu took advantage of Jiang Ning's closed eyes and glared at him fiercely to vent his anger. Jiang Ning's divine sense was released, and her small details couldn't escape control. At this moment, the sunlight was just right, and he leaned against the shade of the tree, operating the star transformation decision. Within the divine sense, the surrounding spiritual energy surged towards him like water, and a certain substance in the radiance of the sun was also pulled by him. Two types of energy gather around Jiang Ning's body. Chen Siyu is angry and funny when he sees that Jiang Ning ignores him. As one of the twins, their sisters are pure and lovely. Every time they appear in front of the boys at the same time, they will attract attention. Who doesn't like the good dot looking twin sisters? Chen Siyu usually goes online and sees netizens saying that twins are a man's dream. She is already a high school student and has some knowledge in that area. Every time she sees these words, she feels uncomfortable, but at the same time, she carries some inexplicable superiority. Sometimes when I see a girl who is even more beautiful than her, I don't feel envious. After all, she is twice as beautiful, and no one can refuse one plus one. However, Jiang Ning actually ignored them, infuriating, too infuriating. 
summer is already hot, and her anger is even hotter. Chen Siyu plans to take his sister to the classroom to cool down. Although the classrooms of number 4 middle school do not have air conditioning, they have large ceiling fans. At this moment, she suddenly felt a chill, she was a bit puzzled, and then realized that it was actually coming from Jiang Ning's side. She tried to get closer, but it was a bit cooler than before. Chen Siyu felt that she might have hallucinated, but that cool feeling was unusually real. She had air conditioning in her house, and this coolness was different from the coolness emitted by the air conditioning. It was more natural, like the gentle breeze passing through her skin in the scorching summer, refreshing from the bottom of her heart. She took two steps away from Jiang Ning, and the coolness disappeared. A hint of suspicion flashed on Chen Siyu's face. She pulled her sister Chen Siqing aside and quietly told her what she had found. Chen Siqing was greatly shocked and expressed that she couldn't understand. She touched her sister's forehead, suspecting that she had a brain problem. Chen Siyu told her sister in advance to pay attention and carefully understand, so the two of them approached Jiang Ning together. However, Chen Siyu found that the coolness had disappeared. Sister looks at her like a fool. Chen Siyu said, I'm really stupid, really. Although older sister Chen Siqing enjoys excitement, she is actually not as outgoing and generous as her younger sister. She has a shy personality and, except for some special circumstances, is not used to interacting with boys most of the time, so she distanced herself from Jiang Ning. Just as Chen Siyu finished sighing, a sudden chill came over her. Her expression instantly became extremely exciting, and she exclaimed excitedly. Sister, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Chen Siqing reluctantly approached and remained silent for three seconds, then glanced at her sister and said, no. Chen Siyu also noticed and unquestionably said. It's gone again. Chen Siqing thought her younger sister was teasing her, so she angrily threw her arm and walked away. Chen Siyu is unjustly accused. She really didn't lie to her sister. My sister is usually very shy outside, but she is very tough in front of me. Before leaving, Chen Siyu glanced at Jiang Ning and felt that today was too unlucky. When the twins left, Jiang Ning opened her eyes and smiled, feeling happy inside. He was intentional. At the beginning of practicing star transformation technique and drawing the power of the stars, there were some anomalies in the surrounding space, which made Chen Siyu feel the temperature difference. However, in no time, Jiang Ning was able to freely control the temperature around her body, becoming a self-dot-propelled air conditioner with ease. Playing with Chen Siyu was a whim. At first, they experimented with themselves, but now they return it to find some fun for the boring cultivation. End of this chapter. Only you can perform in chapter 8. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Only you can perform in chapter 8. At 2 p.m., class 8 of grade 1, under the guidance of class teacher Shan Qingrong, went to the playground and occupied a piece of land. There are a total of 52 people in class 8, facing the flag-raising platform, divided into four rows, with two rows for boys and two rows for girls, making a clear distinction. Next to Jiang Ning is the girls' team, and he happens to be accompanied by Chen Siyu. Chen Siyu was chatting with a female classmate in the class, occasionally glancing at Jiang Ning. This afternoon, she had planned to switch classes with her sister, but thanks to Jiang Ning, her sister did not agree to the change and was afraid of being discovered. She is now filled with resentment towards Jiang Ning, but this kind of thing is not easy to share with others, so she can only keep it in her heart. Jiang Ning noticed her gaze and didn't pay attention. It was just a beautiful little girl. In his past life, as the true prince of Yuanning, he had seen many fairies. Based on his cultivation, Countless women have posted him, including princesses of dynasties, daughters of heavenly pride, female sect leaders, saints of the demonic cult, pure Taoist nuns, and everything else. However, his cultivation of the ice soul canching decision is merciless and devoid of desire, with only the desire to become an immortal in his heart. 
he never uses false language towards women, as they only affect his speed of cultivation. Although he is currently practicing martial arts, his gaze is fixed on it, and he doesn't feel it at all for ordinary women. Jiang Ning ignored Chen Siyu and resumed his cultivation. He calmly absorbed energy, only keeping himself cool, while others did not benefit. On the flag-raising platform, the leaders of the fourth middle school spoke impassioned words, encouraging the new students. At first, the students were full of enthusiasm, but as the school leaders changed one by one, they still spoke the same set of words, and everyone began to get restless. The sun in September is still scorching, mercilessly shining on the playground of number four middle school. Six to seven hundred students are like scattered wheat on the ground, drained of a lot of water, each appearing lethargic. With the final speech from the principal of number four middle school, the two dot and da dot half dot hour student conference finally came to an end. All the classmates in the class breathed a sigh of relief and were finally liberated. Jiang Ning lined up with a stool and returned to the class. After a commotion, the students sat down. Shan Qingrong announced that the day was over and asked everyone to put on their military training uniforms tomorrow. They should gather in the classroom before 7.30 in the morning. Jiang Ning walked out of the classroom door and called out to Shui Yuantong on the steps, inviting her to take her mountain bike. Shui Yuantong's face remained calm and he waved his hand to refuse. She walked back to the school no matter how she came to it. Shui Yuantong, Shui Yuantong, you must muster up your energy and bravely face three kilometers. Facing the summer sunset, Shui Yuantong spent 45 minutes walking with weak legs. With strong perseverance, he finally moved home. Then, she saw Jiang Ning sitting on a small horse tied to the door, eating a big watermelon, looking comfortable. You're back, Jiang Ning asked. For some reason, at this moment, Shui Yuantong suddenly felt a touch of sadness, as if the whole world was targeting him, and the feeling of injustice involuntarily spread. She felt so pitiful and wanted to cry, but she chose to walk to school and refused to take the bus. Shui Yuantong gritted his teeth, it wasn't me who was wrong, it was this world. She thought angrily. The weak ride bicycles to school, while the strong always walk to school. The next day of military training, Jiang Ning rode his bike in the wind. Last night, he quenched his body next to the substation, and in the early morning, he honed his spiritual consciousness. Today, during military training, he can absorb spiritual energy and the power of the sun. The three paths of strength are advancing side by side, and his future is promising. He is in a good mood. Coincidentally, I saw Shui Yuantong again on the way, dressed in a floral green military training uniform and with short legs. He habitually shouted, Shui Yuantong, get in the car. Shui Yuantong said coldly with a small face. I like walking, you go first. Oh, I'll leave first. Jiang Ning surpassed her, and the little girl was quite stubborn. Shui Yuantong gritted her teeth and insisted that walking can exercise her body. When she becomes stronger, she won't be tired anymore. Jiang Ning arrived at the class and found a spot by the window. Ma Shicheng had already arrived, holding his phone and playing with defending carrots. Two boys surrounded him, watching with great interest. Smartphones have become popular these years, but there are still many students in the class who use button presses or simply don't have phones. Some parents are worried about affecting their children's learning, so they don't buy them. These students can only watch others play or borrow their phones to play. Back then, Jiang Ning bought a phone for 300 yuan and often played with it for others. These days, there are only 2G and 3G networks, and the traffic is not cheap, with a traffic packet of 5 yuan and 30 meters. Every time he lends someone to play, he always reminds them in advance not to spend too much traffic on him. When the students arrived, Shan Qingrong entered the class at 7.30 a.m., followed by a tall and robust man in military uniform. Looking at a group of students dressed in military training uniforms below, Shan Qingrong briefly introduced the instructor. 
he didn't say his name, only his surname was Lee. He also explained other things and then asked Lee to lead class 8 students to the playground. After arriving at the playground, the girls stayed, while the boys were taken away and merged into class 7 to form a team. At first, the team was filled with noise, but instructor Lee scolded twice and the students quieted down. The military's deterrence is quite good, especially the exceptionally strong instructor Lee in front of him, with obvious muscles in his forearms, which makes many students envious. Then they were arranged in order of height, followed by standing in a military posture. In Jiang Ning's past life, he underwent one high school military training and one university military training. The instructor demonstrated his military posture and Jiang Ning easily mastered it. However, some students did not stand properly. Instructor Lee corrected them twice, but still some students did not stand up to standard. Instructor Lee walked directly along the formation and saw that the standing posture was not correct. He slapped it with his hand, and with great strength, the students who slapped it grinned. After repeating this several times, the standing posture finally became standardized. After standing for 15 minutes, Instructor Lee stared intently at the students, who were startled by his gaze. They were afraid to reach out and grab the itchy spots on their bodies, otherwise the instructor would give them a cold shoulder and it would hurt for a while. The students greeted Teacher Lee in their hearts, angry about why he was so strict. However, the girl team next to them occasionally burst out with some laughter, causing the young men to itch and only hate why they were not girls at this moment. Not bad, now let's start practicing walking in unison. Instructor Lee practiced twice, take your left foot first. Step in step. Go. The team clattered forward, and as they looked, Instructor Lee frowned and said, stand at attention. Step in step. Let's go. The team clumsily walked forward, kept walking, and as they approached the girl team, many students instinctively stopped and the team became chaotic. Stop. Instructor Lee shouted. If I don't say, stop, you can't stop. Walk me to death. Do you understand? Seeing Instructor Lee angry, the atmosphere of the team immediately fell silent like a cicada. Do you understand? Instructor Lee questioned again. Jiang Ning casually responded, I understand. Other students followed suit and shouted, understood. Instructor Lee noticed that Jiang Ning is a good student, standing upright, with a stable chassis and standard walking. He is a good soldier. He glared at the crowd and said, didn't you eat? Speak up. Everyone shouted in unison, understood. Someone in private glanced at Jiang Ning and said in displeasure. What are you pretending to be? Are you good at acting? End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Preliminary Trial of Divine Knowledge Secret Method You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Preliminary Trial of Divine Knowledge Secret Method A few classmates next to them all heard it. First, they looked at the speaker, a chubby man with small eyes and a disdainful expression on his face, looking very unpleasant. Then they looked at Jiang Ning again, her face expressionless as if she hadn't heard anything. So a few classmates easily judged that Jiang Ning was definitely someone who didn't want to cause trouble. Of course Jiang Ning heard it. He knew who the speaker was, Song Sheng, a boy from class 8 of their first year of high school. Although number 4 middle school is one of the top 3 high schools in the city, it is still filled with students of various qualities. People like Song Xing typically rely on their size to bully others. Song Xing's grades are good, and he is in the top 10 of his class. He is also from the urban area of Yuzhou, which makes it difficult to deal with when he is bad. Song Xing often plays around at the back of the class, often looking for people to compete with, such as wrestling and playing. Sometimes he gets so angry that he flips over several tables and makes a mess. He never tidies up for others, but instead takes pride in it. And feel that bullying others can establish one's own authority. This kind of thing, let alone 2013, cannot be completely eradicated even 10 years later. 
Later on, something went wrong and Song Sheng was punished with a serious demerit by the school. However, he restrained himself a bit and his mouth was still not clean, but he did less hands dot on work. He remained stable until the college entrance examination and went to a 211 school. Two years after graduation, Jiang Ning once contacted an old classmate and heard someone talk about Song Sheng. A classmate with a gloating expression said that Song Sheng had beaten someone in the company, and his family was willing to compensate, but the victim refused to accept it. He was sent to prison for two years, and his whole life was considered to be ruined. Jiang Ning recalled his memories of Song Sheng. He didn't have much interaction with the other party, and the only conflict was when he was playing with his phone. Song Sheng got involved in a fight with someone else, knocked over his desk, and his phone hit the ground. He picked up his phone and found that the screen was not broken. At that time, he knew that Song Sheng was not easy to deal with, so he let it go. Now let's start anew. Jiang Ning no longer cares about the past grievances. And Song Xing's actions today made Jiang Ning laugh, like an ant flaunting its might, unaware of the vastness of heaven and earth. Jiang Ning thought for a moment, but still felt a bit uncomfortable. He urged his senses and planned to give it a try. He practiced the Golden Xian Divine Separation Technique in his past life, reaching a great level of cultivation. He transmitted sounds for thousands of miles and killed people with just one thought, which was just the foundation. He was even more capable of transforming divine knowledge into a thousand, almost immortal beings. Unfortunately, the transformation of divine calamity contains the rules of heaven and earth. No matter how much divine consciousness is divided, it cannot escape silence. In this lifetime, I have been practicing this secret technique with rapid progress. In just a few days, I can unleash the divine shock sting that comes with the secret technique. As Jiang Ming's mind spun, instructor Li shouted as usual. Stand still. Step in step. Go. The formation moves forward. Song Sheng was sweating profusely, thinking to himself that instructor Li was really inhumane. If it weren't for his strong appearance, he would have gone up and slapped him in the face. That kid just now, he's really not interesting. He wanted to make a name for himself, right? Don't you also see if your little arms and legs can withstand it? Song Xing pondered as he waited for the military training to end and happened to use this kid to practice his skills. At the back of the classroom, in front of the whole class, he would mock him a few times, and if he dared not accept it, he would press him to the ground to establish his authority in the class. When he gets covered in dust and embarrasses himself with a disheveled face, no girl in the class will take notice of him. That's how he did it in junior high school back then. Despite numerous attempts, he successfully established his authority. When Song Xingzheng was fantasizing, a dark shadow swept over his mind, causing a sudden and severe pain in his brain. It was as if a sharp nail had penetrated his skull from the depths of the shadow, causing him to scream in pain. A few male classmates next to them were startled, their trembling steps were all in disarray, and they quickly looked towards this side. Song Xing rolled back and forth on the ground with his head in his arms, the scene was tragic and a bit funny. Ma Shicheng on the side thought of the scene of a fat pig rolling. Instructor Li walked over with a frown on his face. At this moment, Song Sheng was no longer in pain. He had only been in pain for a moment now and had returned to normal. He quickly got up. What are you doing? Instructor Li was originally a bit worried, but now that he looked normal, his temper suddenly rose. What about rolling on the ground? Song Xing angrily cursed Instructor Li in his heart, but at the same time, he was full of confusion. What was wrong with him just now? Instructor Li, my brain suddenly hurt just now, and now it's not hurting anymore, explained Song Sheng. Instructor Li saw Song Sheng sweating profusely, but he didn't continue to make things difficult for him. Continue training. The team of class 8 has been rearranged. Stand at attention. Next, practice turning around. Right. Turn. 
the formation has moved. Ma Shiqing turned right and ended up facing his classmate across from him. Ma Shiqing suspected he had turned wrong and quickly turned around. Wrong, wrong. Instructor Li shouted. Which is right, which is right, is there no distinction between left and right? Stand at attention, turn right. As soon as his words fell, Jiang Ning once again triggered the Jingxian sting. In an instant, Song Sheng's hair stood on end. He once again recalled the fear of being dominated by that inexplicable pain, accompanied by the arrival of shadows, as if that terrible nail was about to pierce his brain the next moment. Ah! Song Xing suddenly screamed in agony. Once again, I scared a few classmates next to me and they all said in unison. Grass. To Song Xing's surprise, when he screamed out loud, the nail did not penetrate his mind, but instead disappeared without a trace, creating a false alarm. Song Xing stood in the same place, feeling extremely awkward. A dark-skinned and somewhat handsome Guokunan beside him said happily. It sounds like killing a pig. Someone smiled and said, it's clearly a slaughtered pig. The classmates selling pork at home retorted. It's a pig just put in boiling water to shed its fur. Ha ha ha. Both classmates were amused, and the air became lively. Song Xing's face turned pale, he clenched his fist tightly, his nails piercing into his palm without realizing it. He memorized the people he had just mocked and prepared to retaliate back. Later, Song Xing felt the light in front of him dim. Instructor Li stood in front of him and said rudely. Run five laps. Song Xing wished he could kill someone, and his tone was very angry. Instructor, I didn't mean to do it just now. Ten laps. Instructor Li's eyes were cold. Song Xing's forehead twitched, clearly on the brink of eruption, and then he ran away honestly. Disturbing twice in a row, Instructor Li's training plan was disrupted. Dissolve and rest on the spot for fifteen minutes. Then the boy from class 8, grade 1, sat on the grass and watched Song Xing run. In no time, the girl team next door also rested. As they were not far away, the girl team also heard Song Xing's screams just now. Some cheerful girls, or some familiar students, came to ask about the situation, which attracted many male students to roast. Don't mention it, I was just a fool just now, probably my brain was twitching. The first time I've seen such a thing, it's unlucky. Don't say that, we can rest thanks to Song Xing's contribution. Ha, huh, there's nothing wrong. We'll have to thank him well later. Accompanied by a group of male classmates laughing and laughing, Song Xing's fame spread to the girls and became a laughing stock for a while. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Two Roads You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 Two Roads After the Military Training in the Afternoon, Class Teacher Shan Qingrong informed everyone to stay in class for self.study in the evening and finish school at 9.30. After learning about it, the classmates secretly cursed the school fools in their hearts. They had been training for a whole day, exhausted, and wanted to go home quickly to lie down and rest, but surprisingly had to attend evening self.study. I haven't even received any books, which school should I attend for evening self.study? Seeing the students' resistance on their faces, Shan Qingrong smiled and said. There's no way, this is a school policy. Let's do it. I'll show everyone a movie tonight. The classroom of number 4 middle school is a multimedia classroom with computers and projectors, which are often used in class and very convenient. Upon hearing the movie, the classmates in the class felt a little better. Watching a movie at school was quite enjoyable. Only Shui Yuantong remained calm with a small face. She didn't know beforehand that she would attend evening self.study. If it were until 9.30 p.m., even though it was summer, it would be completely dark. By then, she would have to walk three kilometers alone on the dam, which would be terrifying to think of. Although she thought she was extremely brave, walking at night. In case she encountered a bad person on the road, Shui Yuantong became more and more afraid as she thought about it. 
her face turned pale, and various terrifying scenes kept emerging. Today, due to military training, she didn't bring her phone. Her mother went to the village to help her grandparents collect peanuts, but she hasn't been at home in the past few days and no one will come to pick her up. It's over, Shui Yuan Tong is very sad now. She wanted to stand up several times and tell Shan Qingrong that she wanted to go home early, but it was too embarrassing. Shan Qingrong asked her the reason, what should she say? Saying she's afraid of walking at night. It's ridiculous, it's too ridiculous. Will Shui Yuan Tong be afraid of just a night road? The classroom turned off the lights, and Shan Qingrong showed everyone a movie called Spirited Away, with a projector on the screen. Shui Yuantong's face was constantly changing in the shadow, and his mood was wavering. Jiang Ning watched this movie in her past life, and at the end of the first day of military training, Shan Qingrong remained the same as today. Looking back now, I feel a bit different. Jiang Ning used to enjoy watching movies in his class because he came to school on weekdays with the purpose of studying. He could only play on his phone secretly, and watching movies openly always gave him a feeling of making a profit. This kind of allowed recklessness is actually not common in his entire life. When he was in school, he secretly played with his phone. Later, when he entered society, he also secretly fished in the company. He has been sneaking around, as if he has changed a lot, but nothing has changed. Whether now or in the future, various rules are everywhere, and Jiang Ning's life is full of compromise and helplessness, without truly obtaining freedom. Jiang Ning quietly enjoyed the movie until he arrived at 9.30 p.m. and found Shui Yuan Tong on the square in front of the classroom. It's a bit late, it's not safe to walk at night. Come back with me. Shui Yuan Tong listened and confidently said as he walked. It's okay, I walked too much on the night road, it's not worth mentioning. Jiang Ning fell silent for a moment. Shui Yuan Tong wished she could give herself a scolding. She worried about studying all night and came up with various ways to go home. In fact, she could take a taxi, but she had already spent all the money she had with her. After finally waiting for Jiang Ning to speak, she quickly refused again. Now, Shui Yuantong feels that the future is dark. Shui Yuantong's refusal was expected by Jiang Ning, and he could actually ignore Shui Yuantong. After all, the other party refused him several times, but he thought he wanted to dig someone else's house. Do you know that I usually go to the dam at night? The dam is not safe and there are often drunk men. Last time, I carefully observed that there is a grave head in the field next to me, and sometimes in the middle of the night, there are people sitting at the grave head talking, which is quite scary. Jiang Ning said calmly. This statement silenced Shui Yuan Tong. Before Auntie left, she told me to take care of each other when we have difficulties. If anything happens when you walk, I will definitely feel sorry. Okay, okay, stop talking, I'll just sit down. Shui Yuan Tong hugged his chest with both hands and snorted. I'm not afraid of walking at night, I just saw that it's pitiful for you to ride your bike alone at night, and I reluctantly accompanied you on a trip. Jiang Ning watched Shui Yuan Tong pretend to be a model, but did not expose it. When Shen Qingyi left school, she saw Jiang Ning and Shui Yuan Tong chatting in front of her. Her face changed for a moment. Jiang Ning hadn't contacted her for several days, so she had to go shopping in person, which made her a bit uncomfortable for a while. She glanced at Shui Yuan Tong a few times. Although his face was clean, he was short and almost dead. Like a primary school student, he often had a stern face, and Jiang Ning's gaze was also stunned. Shen Qingyi, let's go. The classmate next to her called out to her. MMM -hmm good, Shen Qingyi replied. She didn't say hello to Jiang Ning, it was completely unnecessary. When she was studying in the town middle school, she thought Jiang Ning was a bit unique. Now that she's at number 4 middle school, she's just an ordinary classmate in the class. And for herself, the first two days of school became the focus of discussion among the boys in the class. In the afternoon, during the military training break, 
the sunny and handsome boy from the neighboring class brought cola, which attracted envy from the girls around her. Bathed in the gaze of those girls, Shen Qingyi showed a sweet smile. She lives at her sister's house, and with the help of Jiang Junlong, who is studying in the experimental class of number two middle school, her grades will undoubtedly improve by leaps and bounds, far surpassing Jiang Ning. She and Jiang Ning are no longer the same person, and the gap in the future will continue to widen. She has no attachment to those past, buried in memories. Shen Qingyi got into her sister's sedan at the school gate. Through the window, she saw Jiang Ning pushing her bicycle, followed by the short Shui Yuan Tong. The car started and drove towards the neon-lit city center, with a large gray suburban area reflected in the rearview mirror, like a dilapidated countryside, which was exactly the direction that Jiang Ning's cart was heading towards. Shen Qing Yi's lips curved into a faint smile. Jiang Ning pushed the car all the way, while Shui Yuantong remained silent and quietly followed behind. Jiang Ning got on the bike and rested her toes on the ground. Come up and sit down. Shui Yuantong said, You ride first, and I'll jump directly onto the back seat later. Jiang Ning stepped on her foot, the wheels turned, and the mountain bike moved slowly forward. Shui Yuantong ran up from behind with a short leg kick, jumped into the air and couldn't reach the seat. Jiang Ning pretended not to see and slowed down the speed again. Shui Yuantong took a deep breath and tried again, but still couldn't get up. Jiang Ning stopped the car, and the atmosphere suddenly suffocated. Shui Yuantong's face turned red, which was too embarrassing. She felt like she was going to die. For a long time, Jiang Ning broke the silent air. Well, the military training instructor is quite strict. The training intensity exceeded the standard today, and all the boys in our team complained that they couldn't bear it. Shui Yuantong said along the way, Ah yes, military training is not a big deal for me. The main reason is that my shoes don't fit well, which is particularly uncomfortable. Do you understand? I understand, I understand, Jiang Ning said with a smile on her face. Shui Yuantong pretended not to see Jiang Ning's expression and set his eyes aside. Get in the car. Okay. Shui Yuantong finally got on the car now. She was sitting sideways, with a soft cushion in the back seat that didn't hurt her buttocks. The mountain bike gradually picked up speed, and Shui Yuantong tightly grasped the edge of the back seat with his small hands, his body pressed against Jiang Ning. She had never been so close to a boy before, and the night breeze brushed her hair against her forehead, causing Shui Yuantong's heart to beat slightly faster than usual. End of this chapter